More now on 53-year-old Scott Cross, the only living victim of Haster to come forward publicly. CBS 2's Jim Williams continues our team coverage live from outside the Dirksen Federal Building. Jim. It was a bombshell, Rob and Erica, that emotional testimony from the man we once knew only as individual D. We now know he is Scott Cross, whose powerful brother once only had praise for Dennis Hastert. As he was wheeled into court, Dennis Hastert was moments away from facing Scott Cross. Cross told Judge Thomas Durkin how much he admired Hastert, Coach Hastert, when Cross was an aspiring wrestler more than 40 years ago. I respected and trusted Coach Hastert, Cross said. But as a 17-year-old member of Hastert's wrestling team, Cross said the coach gave him a massage that turned sexual. I grabbed my shorts and ran out of the locker room. Cross, now a 53-year-old husband and father, choking up, said he's been plagued with intense pain, shame, and guilt. He stood up and spoke the truth of what Mr. Hastert did to him as a boy, how coach abused him, violated his trust, and, do, and, and in doing so, permanently scarred him. Back when Haster became U.S. House Speaker, he was praised by Cross's older brother, then Illinois House Republican leader Tom Cross. I'm very happy for him. I'm proud of him. Um, everyone in our county is ecstatic. We're still, you know, walking on air because uh, this is a guy that we all know. Facing sentencing, Hastert asked Tom Cross for a letter of support to give the judge. It never happened. Scott Cross said he just recently told his family he had been abused by Hastert. In court, Hastert said he could not remember molesting Cross. Today, Tom Cross said in a statement, we are very proud of Scott for having the courage to relive this very painful part of his life in order to ensure that justice is done today. Also in court today, Jolene Burtz testified how her brother, Stephen Reinbolt, was tormented for decades after Hastert molested him. He died 21 years ago. Live outside the Dirksen Federal Building, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Jim, thank you.